The news continues now in fears of a second wave on the virus growing tonight. New concern in the Northeast and, of course, across this country as the CDC now forecasts up to 20,000 more Americans could die by Election Day. And tonight, this number, more than 213,000 lives have been lost. 11 states now seeing record hospitalizations, including Montana. Nine lives lost in a deadly outbreak at a California nursing home. And there's new guidance coming in from the CDC now saying people who are overweight may be at risk. Here's Witch Johnson. Tonight, an urgent warning about the resurgence of coronavirus in the Northeast. With colder weather moving in, Dr. Deborah Burks of the White House Coronavirus Task Force saying there are troubling signs. You can see the virus moving up the country. That community spread is now occurring with small gatherings day after day in households and families and friends. The CDC now predicting up to 20,000 more COVID deaths by Election Day. Today, officials cracking down on hot spots around New York City, closing schools and non-essential businesses, threatening fines and even arrests for those who don't comply. In New Jersey, hospitalizations are on the rise. We are anticipating a second wave. This wave has a potential to become a surge. Nationwide, more than 56,000 new infections on Thursday, nearly a two-month high. 11 states hitting record hospitalizations this week, including Montana. This hospital in Billings considering doubling up rooms in the ICU to take in more patients. We are hitting our surge right now. Every day is a challenge. A deadly new outbreak at a California nursing home. At least nine residents killed by COVID in Watsonville, dozens more infected. Our very last resort is evacuation of the facility, actually sending these patients elsewhere. But in Wisconsin, a remarkable recovery. 60-year-old Lupita Salas now back home after battling COVID for 177 days in the hospital. Because the scary situation when you can't breathe, it's like being reborn again. And tonight, the CDC is now expanding its warning on risk factors, saying it's not just obesity, but simply being overweight could put you at a higher risk of severe illness from COVID-19. More than 70% of adults in the U.S. are either overweight or obese. David. All right, Witt Johnson on this again tonight. Witt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.